This is James with Yelp's Construction, and we're going to show you how to do baseboards simply. Come on over. First step is clearing your wall off, making sure that there's no nails in it. Second step is measuring. All right, it's good to know your sixteenths when you're measuring. A lot of people just know the major ones, but this one is 81 and 11 sixteenths. Okay, so we're going to write that down here. And we're going to put our angles on here. We're going to put a corner over here and an inside over here. Now it's important um, to understand your angles. This is what the baseboard will look like when you cut it from the top. If you look down. So we measured this one 81 and 11 sixteenths. We got an inside corner here and we got an outside corner here. So let me show you guys. A lot of people think that the saw should be up like this and that you move it this way to cut baseboards. Okay, so just to illustrate, you'd have to have the baseboard up like this and it's really hard to get it square on the saw and it's really hard to get it to stay in that position. But that is the wrong way to do it. You want your saw on zero and you want to miter it down like this. Okay, so here we go. Inside corner. So let me show you guys what I mean. Okay, inside corner, okay, so if you noticed over here on this end, I put the tape on the back of the baseboard. You never want to measure from the face because you're not going to get a good measurement. You want to measure from the back of the baseboard, 81 and 11 sixteenths. Okay, and then we gotta then we gotta cut it. Okay, so you gotta know your saw. Come on up here, Eric. You gotta know your saw and you gotta know exactly where that line goes in order to cut it. So some saws you might be over there, some saws you might be over here. But my saw I'm gonna be about right there on it. So here we go. So I got my line, I got my line right on the corner, I'm going to take a hair off and I'm going to show you guys our cut here, outside corner, outside corner.